Olympiasieger und auch der Weltrekordhalter ist hier. Ein junges Talent will sie aber alle herausfordern. Von 15 bereits über 6 Meter gesprungen. Wir stellen Ihnen die Athleten vor und zwar kommen sie aus dem LED Gate in der Mitte der Tribüne. Good evening everybody. Welcome to the Livestream Weltklasse Zürich. We are behind the scenes. We even have a hashtag. Hashtag Inside Weltklasse. We are going behind the scenes. My name is Marco Bütl. I'm your host tonight. But I'm a former skier. I don't know everything. So I have an expert with me. Linda Züblin, former athlete. Two years ago you retired. You were an athlete in Heptathlon. But tonight you are going to answer all my questions I have from the background. Because I'm very curious. I want to know all the things. And uh, welcome to have you here. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody out there. We are, as I told you, we are backstage. As you see around us, the athletes are already preparing for their, uh, how do you call that, preliminary, the first uh, warm up rounds. The 100 meters are taking place. So we are really close. Some of the girls are uh, getting ready right here. This is a social media live stream. This is not a TV show. This is a little bit different. That means that you are involved. We here, we go with the flow. But if you have any questions, send them to us. Write us, send us your questions. And afterwards, we're going to ask you if you want us to go left or right. We ask you what you want to see. We want to include you into our live show. So this is uh, behind the scenes, it doesn't get closer. Are you psyched for today? Are you happy? I'm super excited. I'm very happy to see everything here from a different perspective. I'm very nervous because I see all the girls, because I'm used to running here. We are seeing them very close. They're preparing for one of their first rounds. And I'm, it's the first time I'm here at Weltklasse Zürich and I have never been this close. And I have to say I'm very nervous. One of the topics we're doing today, it's called the athlete's journey. And the first journey, it starts at the hotel. All the athletes are staying at the same hotel. It's just around the corner. And we took a look at that hotel. get to the athletes right here as I told you we are behind the scenes and let's uh, show you how we work here Linda come with me and we take Sasha come on with me the cameraman see we have another camera woman here this is how uh, we are producing today in here this is uh, Stefan I'm sorry I put you in front of the camera Stefan this is Urs he's uh, taking care of all the pictures and this is uh, how we work today so um, Yes, the topic was the athlete's journey, but before we get to uh, the topic, how the athletes arrive at the, uh, at, the, uh, at the venue site here at the stadium, I wanted to show you how everything looks like back here. So Urs, show us how the athletes arrive here at the, uh, at the uh, competition ground at the stadium. Yeah, these are the right pictures. Show them to us. Look, this is this is typically for Alex. I uh, used to train with him. He's a showman. Uh, he needs that show thing to 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 perform to. 
make a good time. So I'm sure in this mood, everything will be good for him. He is in his home crowd. He's in Switzerland. He's really close to all the viewers. He knows everybody. Isn't that something that gives him motivation? A lot of motivation. Yeah, especially. I, I know him very well. Yes. So that's really what he needs. So he, he enjoys the crowd and talks to people and being a showman. Okay. That's really what he, he so wants to do. So he feels so much at home. We move a little bit further here and uh, we try to get closer to the women who are preparing for the 100 meter uh, the first round. I wish I could go on the track out there, but um, and it's not going to happen. But in the background, you see the guys with the pole vault. Their competition has already started. Tell me a little bit. We have seen the women last night at the train station in Zurich, at the main station. And we already talked about the pole vault. Tell me a little bit about the, the, uh, the competition today and, and the pole they use and everything. Tell us a little bit about it. So I guess I just have about 30 seconds to explain you about the pole wall. First I have to say it's very, very complicated. Uh, the poles are so different, depends of the height of the athlete, of the body weight, of the weather, the fitness, uh, daily fitness conditions. So it's very, very complicated to find the words in a couple seconds. How many poles does every athlete bring with them? How many poles do they bring? So they have a whole bag with, with them, so usually I would say maybe eight, mm -hmm. because they are able to switch during the competition. That's why they need different options to use, but they decide from jump to jump which pole uh, is perfect for that moment. So they, the poles have different stiffness and uh, different length, is that correct? Or they have different material as well? Different material as well, that's uh, carbon fiber yes. or glass fiber. So someone yesterday told me that the most jump with glass fiber, I was very... Um, I couldn't believe it, yeah. So, but I don't know. So this is going to be one of, I, I'm a biggest, I'm really a huge fan of the pole vault. I think this is very interesting. And um, this is uh, going to be fun to watch. How many repair or how many warm-up jumps can they do? So it depends. They already started the competition now, but we have to know that they, they have a warm-up from about two to three hours. So they are here in the stadium or outside at the warm-up area since a long time. And I honestly don't know how many jumps they have. Mm -hmm. First, they, they, they just make little jumps. Mm -hmm. And maybe, I would say maybe three jumps, like okay. real jumps before and, the competition And then started. the guys are ready. I have yeah. one last question. What do they put on their hands that they have a better grip on the pole? Yeah, it's, what is it's, it? It's this black uh, sticky black, thing, yes, right? Exactly. With spray and yes. gel. Yeah, it? this is resin okay. that helps them. It's very sticky, helps them for the grip on the pole. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. Let's go, let's go and see a little bit. Let's go out here and see what's going on here because this is very interesting. I love to be here. We are oh. super close. So we are so very, close. very unusual oh, to, yes. to be that close at a huge competition like this. So the women are uh, getting ready. They are preparing their starting position and everything. Where's the camera number one? Here, Sasha. Can I talk to you, Sasha? Is that okay? As I told you, this is a live stream. Oh, some more athletes are coming. We have to move this way. And you know, the, the guys who throw the really, no, the girls who throw the really uh, heavy balls, we have to, oh, this is, we're so close to everything. As I told you, this is not TV. We are a community. You are really close and you have the chance to take part here in our coverage. And we have a question for you and you can vote. I have a question. What would you like to see? I give you option number A. These are the guys who are making noise that try to have everybody get off their chairs and noise and make noise and cheer. If you want to see that, that's option number A. That's A. Put on a heart. Respond with a heart. And if you want to see the athletes down in the buildings, warming up, sprinting on the indoor track, send a thumbs up. So that's the choice. If you want to see the outside cheering, send a heart. And if you want to see the athletes inside, send a thumbs up. So 
Linda, I send you on the other side, as long as there's something going on. I look around here a little bit. I see you later, yes. And I'm looking for the one person who is responsible for everything, because back here, they are already preparing for the opening ceremonies. And as you see, there's so much coming and going, and I'm in the middle of everything. I have to watch out that I'm not stepping on any toes right here. So I have to ask is... Uh, I'm just really looking around and I'm looking if I see the one person who is responsible for the uh, opening ceremonies. I don't see him. Ah, there he is. I saw him the whole time, Danny. Ah, come with me, come here. I saw you the whole time, but I didn't know it was you. Okay. You are responsible for everything around this stadium. You know it like your own pocket, is that correct? I kind of, yes. We're responsible for the whole infrastructure of the stadium, and uh, we do the whole setup for that. You can just see this beautiful Letty Grund that it looks like it looks today, no? I heard that you know everything from the parking fields down to every inch of this stadium. You know everybody. How long you've been in this position so far? I mean, the setup I started in 2007, so kind of roughly more than 10, uh, 10 years. Years, uh, 12 years now already and this position something like uh, 10 years now okay. 10 years and uh, do you still get emotional do you still get to see some of the competitions get close to the athlete is that the kind of thing you like oh yeah there's a big passion you know I mean I think there's this whole emotion it's always uh, you, you, you get goosebump all the time about still about it so that's why you do it I mean it's hard work and uh, I think that's the paying off is that really that all this emotion the uh, the smiling, the, the, the success, yes. uh, the drama around it. That's really the fun of it, no? But on the other hand, you have lots of responsibility. So do you sleep good at night or do you sleep really good after the competition took place? I mean, we sleep very good afterwards because <laughs> I'm very, very tired afterwards. Yes, but it's, you know, we have a great team. It's about working together, team effort, and then I think we can handle it very well. So I have no sleepless night, not at all. Thank you for being here and good luck for the evening. And it has become, thank you, Danny. Thank, thank you. you. Have fun. And it has become quiet in here because they're starting. So one of the girls moved a little bit too quickly on the right-hand side, so it's going to be a second start. I have to say this is really... Really, uh, goosebumps moments. All the decisions, like a jury. Yes, this was uh, the jury of the competition here. Girls getting ready again. It's going to be nerve-wracking for the girls. One of the girls already moved a little bit again. And I have to tell you this, if you want to see the competitions, we are live right now behind the scenes, so this is just one look. But if you want to see the competitions afterwards, there's one way. It's called SRF2. If you want to watch it on TV, SRF2, they will show you the whole program, the whole meeting, Classic City. But if you want to stream it online, you can also watch srf.ch. If you don't want to miss any competitions, go online on srf.ch or on TV SRF2. I have to look on my watch, and I think SRF2, they're going on pretty soon. Let's see what's happening here again. Und trotz 
des Riesenapplaus hat es nicht gereicht. Ihr fehlt noch 12 cm und nur noch ein Versuch hat sie. Wir gehen jetzt wieder zurück auf die Bahn. Pancho Nanda, Albert Quattro del Ponte, Latva Lafay, Bongiorni. Das erste Rennen vor der Gang der Frauen über 100 Meter. Yes, this time it worked. So we have more athletes coming in. I tried to cross the section right here. And looking down the uh, 100 meters, this is so fascinating. Just the view I get from this point, this angle, it's like, it's like when I was a ski racer looking down the start. This is so unique. Look this way and see the next women are coming by to set their start position. Let's move to the other side. I feel a little bit exposed out here. I told you, we go behind the scenes. It doesn't get closer than this. Let's see if Linda is still here. Yeah, Linda, there she is. Linda, let's talk about this track. I was just in the middle and I looked down the 100 meter. This track here, I heard that here in Zurich, the track is really fast. Why? Super fast. Yeah, this is a high performance track. Why? They did a retopping 2014 before the Europe Championships. Yes. They basically put two shifts first, a soft one and on the top a hard one on the old track. And the result is that it's more stable and way faster for faster movement forward. So uh, there probably are going to be great times today in the sprints, right? That because of the of the uh, tartan. We hope so. Yeah, I mean, I think the wind is pretty good at the moment. That's also an aspect. We have a sunny weather. The crowd is amazing, good vibes, so there's actually no reason to run slow. We have uh, looked at the, at the, uh, at the turf, at the tartan, the way it's made, and I think we have a little, a little film. I have to ask Urs and Stefan, do you, can, yes, can you show that little film? Linda, before we go on these uh, on the track again and we talk about this, you have uh, you have met Yasmi Giger, a young athlete. Tell me about her. You have met her before, oh, yeah. right? So she's a very very nice and kind and yeah, amazing amazing 400 meter hurdle. Basically, girl. you met her just a couple of minutes ago. No, I knew her before. Yeah, but you just saw her. Before. Yeah, I right. just saw her before. Let's see how that went. <laughs> Und ihr noch ganz ein bisschen näher zu Willst du Jasmin oder Jasmin? Jasmin. Jasmin? Ja. Okay. Gut. Du bist die Rückmann. Äh, Bronze Medal Winner. Ja. Okay. Okay, guys. This is a famous Swiss girl. She just won the uh, European Under 23 Bronze Medal uh, over 400 hurdles. Uh, Jasmin, how do you feel being here? I'm feeling great, I'm excited, a little bit nervous because I can imagine there are a lot of people watching us. Um, of course. 
I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> and what does it mean, the Weltklasse Zürich meeting for you? It means a lot because the whole season you have different competitions and to be part of the Weltklasse Zürich is always a big thing because you're running in front of your whole crowd, your families come coming to watch you and yeah. That's amazing. So we all wish you good luck for this race and for your whole career. Thank all the you best. very much. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe I'll give you a last couple down there. Oh, that Easy. would be nice. Really good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
are gathering before they come out here on the field. If you have a, really any question about that call room, send them to us. That's your chance to send us the questions. And I think that so far in here, it feels so good to be here. It is, it is. Oh, let's move this way. Let's move this way. And I think the preparations for the opening ceremonies are taking place. Let's walk backwards. Look down. This looks so good. Yeah, they're preparing and 400 I know that meter the, uh, hurdles for the girls. Some of the star athletes are driven out here by cars and they pass by here. And we are waiting that moment. We have to stand a little bit on the side. We don't want to be run over by cars. And uh, so I told you before, if you have any questions about the call room, the call room is that area where all the athletes are gathering, preparing for the race before they come out here to the starting positions. If you have any questions, about the call room. I'm gonna talk to the chief of call room afterwards and we see some of the big athletes preparing in there, see if they're nervous or anything. So if you have any questions, let me know. Linda, what do you wanna say? Yeah, I think we are a bit flashed right now at the moment to be that close, So, but we are very excited to be here. We are, seen, we are really spoiled. We're really spoiled to be here, yes. Absolutely. There's a, I, to, I, told you, I told you before that uh, cars are driving this round through the stadium and they have the best athletes in the car. And we tried to equip one of these cars with a camera so you get the inside view from, uh, from the whole tour. And I think that the camera joins Kambunchi, Muchinga Kambunchi, as far as I know. So we try to equip one of the cars with a camera so you get really an inside look closer than anything. And I think for the two of us, we are left with enjoying this uh, scenery right here and oh. wait for uh, the athletes passing by, right? Really? No, Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Natürlich der Frauen, die Jungs haben wir ja bereits gesehen. Hier stehen sie auf der Bahn 8. Bei den 23 Jahren war sie dabei, eine junge Schweizerin, Karin Wisch. Sie kommt aus Frankreich zu uns in den letzten Jahren 57, 55 Jahre Zeit. Nina Prino Fabio. Bei den Jungs waren sie Europameisterschaft, gewann sie die Goldmedaille, die Niederländerin Faith Tegolo. Und damit ist sie die Nachkommen dieser jungen Frau. Sie gehört zur Überzüchter Generation aus der Ostfrei. Justin Krieger! Die der Wirt herausgefordert unter anderem von der Tessina Bahn 4, Lara Bondrova. Ja, diese Disziplin ist die Welt in der Schweiz. Eine weitere Liga fällt uns über Lars dabei, an den Leistungen der vom Erste werden live der Baby Box. Sarah Eschbacher! Auf Deutschland ist vertreten in diesem Lauf bei den Meisterschaften auf Rang 5, Silvia Schulz. Und ganz eben aus Norwegen, die jüngste Entfällt, die 20 Meisterin aus Norwegen, Andrea Roth. Die wollen in die Busnachtung von Lea Sprunger und so weiter stehen. Und da begrüßen sie 400 Meter Laufen und über die Höhe der Stadion 8. Durchstand. Wir 
Lava Honda und Paul Fenke sehr, sehr gut unterwegs. Und Paul Fenke, die gibt es wohl zu schlagen. Fenke wohl jetzt noch 180 Meter. Die kommt aber langsam ran, hat natürlich jetzt den Vorteil des 14 Punkten dahin. Are you thrilled about the closing ceremonies? I'm definitely thrilled about the closing ceremonies. We're so looking forward. Enjoy that ride. Have fun. Obviously, we don't have enough signaling back there. But I think we have a very neat position here to watch all. Well, Noah Lals is still here. And uh, 
We have a very good position here to see all the athletes passing by. We don't get closer than this. Maybe, Linda, car number three is Karim Hussein. You know him very well. Do you think he gives us a high five when he passes by? Of course. Okay, good. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> I have to prove it now, right? <laughs> yes, you have to prove okay. that now. Okay, and I think the cars are off. I have, I, I'm sorry, I have to ask you, what is it with these socks? It's Kill Bill. Kill Bill, and on the other side, oh, there you go, Kill Bill, yeah. How come? Just what I decided to wear. Are you always up for funny socks? Oh, yeah. Are you going to wear them when you run afterwards? Yeah, I'm wearing it for the whole meet. <laughs> Good luck. Linda, did you wear socks like these? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Maybe I would have been as fast as him with socks, but I don't think so. But uh, he's a cool guy. Yeah. And it's Cars a cool are moving. They turn on the engines. I think they need a lot of patience here, waiting until they finally can go out on this lap. I think this moment right now is not very comfortable for the athletes mm -hmm. because it's waiting and they actually want to move, want to prepare. Yes. I think this is more maybe a must is, for them maybe right this now. Is the last quietness before the competition starts. Maybe yeah, they enjoy it. I think they wish to be like, if it's very quiet, and not a Buxi who start talking with him. <laughs> very sorry, but I think that... No, you have to use the chance, of course. So he close, can say I no. I have to ask him questions. Well, yes, I can imagine. And I'm, uh, I hope for the athletes that they get out on the uh, track pretty soon, because I want to see who else is coming along, which is very good since the cars they have uh, the names on the side and what kind of uh, distance they're running or which, which, uh, which uh, competition they take place in. Well, I think for us, block number one, this was it. If you want to see the live coverage, watch SRF2. SRF2. Watch that uh, live coverage if you want to see all the competitions, if you want to stream it, if you live outside Switzerland, SRF2. Dot ch. That's the way to stream the whole competition and you can be really close to everything. But if you want to be behind the scenes, follow us. Next time we're going live is 8.30 as far as I know. 8.30 and uh, let me check, let me double check. 8.30. It says right here. 8.30 we go live behind the scenes if you're going close to the call room and uh, have fun and I see you there. Send us some questions we have for the call room. Thanks. See you later.
Yeah. 